you know, it's it's a little difficult to say what, what my favorite part is. I think that the whole endeavor has been pretty all around creative from mm -hmm. brainstorming and thinking of ideas and concepts and getting input from the participants and the residents at both properties. And from there, taking those ideas and then building into something else and then building into something else. So I guess if I had to nail it down, it would probably just be the evolution of how these uh, projects start off as a little kernel of an idea and then just balloon into something that's it takes on its own life that's been molded by us as instructors and the participants and the people who live here. It's been really cool. It gave me an idea for like a pond. Yeah, what's just that? So, like, I think a good example of seeing the benefits of this class, um, we have a few students that when they came in, it was kind of like, tell me what to do and, and I'll do it. They were really gung-ho, but they weren't really making their own decisions quite yet. But a few weeks into it, things changed a little bit, which is pretty exciting. And so you can see their confidence rise with that, which is one of the things that I enjoy seeing with the program. Uh, our, our goal here wasn't realism. We didn't want to make it reproduce Times Square or anything like that because it would be you know, a little bit out of our league for first project and a little meticulous. But we did want it to have a very crafted uh, DIY sort of feel to it. And so cardboard lends itself naturally to that. We had more than we need. I don't think we ever really had to go out searching for cardboard. Uh, at Village Point, we, we came in a few times and literally there were stacks of cardboard from just people, I guess, who had heard that we needed it just waiting for us. So that they was great. They had nice, cute little letters with them. Yeah, and they would put little notes saying, Dear Art Program. Yeah, we hope you can use these. And we definitely did use them. So thank you. Anything artsy that I did back in, back when I was little in school, it's still like embedded in my brain, you know, it's like I go back and I think about those things of, I think about school and those pop up the most. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>